Hello coders, Synthetic Programming here with another video for you guys today and today we are going to be building an auto clicker in Python. An auto clicker is just a program that automatically clicks a ton of times in a very short amount of time if that's what you want it to do. You can make this thing click one time a second, you can make it click once every five seconds, or you can make it click a hundred or a thousand times in one second. As long as your computer can handle that speed, the program will run at that speed and it'll click uh, wherever you put the cursor and start the program, it will just start clicking at that speed. And I'll demonstrate that for you after we're done writing it. So the first thing we're gonna do is import some modules. We're gonna import time, and we're gonna import threading, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna import a module called pi input. We're gonna import some particular uh, parts of that. Um, pi input, you may have to install. Uh, mine didn't come with my distribution of Python, so I had to go and, and install pi input. So from, Pi input dot mouse. We're going to import a couple things, two things, button, and we're going to import controller. Okay. Then from pi input dot keyboard, we're going to import listener, and we're going to import key code. Now the reason that we're importing stuff for the keyboard as well is because we're gonna use keys on the keyboard to start the clicking, stop the clicking, and exit the program. So to start and stop the clicking, we'll use the S key, start, stop, S, and to exit the program, we'll use E for exit. So uh, also, if any of you get lost along the way, I know this can be complicated, especially for beginners. So remember the code is all in the description on GitHub and you can get it there or you can follow along and type it here exactly like I'm typing it and it should work for you as long as you have the module installed, uh, pi input, I mean. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is set some global variables. The delay, which is how fast we actually want it to click. If we set it to 0 0.01, that will be um, 100 times in one second. So it'll click 100 times per second. The button that we care about is button dot left okay now button remember we imported from up here and left means we care about left clicking not right clicking if you wanted right clicking you could set this to right uh, next thing we're gonna do is start stop key and this is gonna be the key that starts and stops the program we decided that was gonna be s so we do key code right uh, again from keyboard up here that we that we imported key code character so car equals s okay so s is going to be the key that starts and stops the clicking then we need an exit key and that's going to be equal to key code except this time we'd use a different character which character do we want to use e for exit perfect so now we have our global variables up here set Next thing we're gonna do is we are going to do class. We're gonna make a new class here, and the class is called click mouse. And remember, this class is gonna be the object that's actually executing that clicking, and, and this is really the bulk of the program. So in here, we're going to have it inherit some attributes from threading, so threading dot thread. Okay, so thread is an object in threading, and we're, in, we're inheriting uh, the attributes of that object um, and the methods, right? So now uh, we're going to define our init function, and the init function, initialization function, right, is what actually starts the class. So def underscore underscore init underscore underscore self, just like that, except not only self, we also want our delay and we also want button because we want to know the delay and the button that we care about, okay? So now, next thing we're going to do is we're gonna type super. In super, we're gonna, let's do what this is. Yeah, don't worry. So super click mouse, super click mouse and self, all right? And then the last thing, which will probably fix that problem we have right above, is dot in it, just like that, okay? See, fix the problem above. We're all good to continue. So now, self.delay is going to be equal to delay. Self.button is going to be equal to button. And self.running 
is going to be equal to false and self dot program running is going to be equal to true. So when the program starts, it is not clicking. That's why self dot running is false but self.program running is true. So yes, the program's on, no, it's not clicking. When we want it to start clicking, we'll set this equal to true. And when we want the program to stop running, we'll set this equal to false. Okay, so we're actually done with our init function at this point. So now we're gonna make another method. This one is gonna be called start clicking. And remember in start clicking, when we run this, uh, Literally all it does is it sets running equal to true. So self dot running equals true, right? Because it's going to start clicking. So the next thing we're going to do is def stop running. And just like it sounds, we are going to do self dot running equals false. So this will turn off the clicking again. When we hit that S key, we're going to make hitting the S key toggle these. Perfect. So the next thing we want is our exit method. So def exit, right? And exit is going to say self dot stop clicking, right? Because we want to, sorry, stop. Uh, I made this stop running. Here, we'll just make it stop clicking to to be just like this one up here. So start clicking, stop clicking, stop clicking. Okay. So we make it stop clicking, and then we say self dot program running is false. And that's where we tell it that, okay, program's not running anymore, turn it off, set this to false. Nice. Uh, and then the last method is a run method. So def run, right? And we need self again in there, it's automatically put in, while self dot program running, right? So while the program is running and while it's clicking, so self.running, like that. Again, so while the program is running and while it's clicking, what are we gonna do? Well, mouse.click, right? And it's going to, self dot button so yeah so mouse dot click self dot button now it says there's a problem here don't worry about that we'll be fixing that very very soon next time dot sleep and we're gonna sleep for the delay right and it's not just delay sorry it's self dot delay perfect so now why is our little uh, error happening over here with the mouse it's because it says it's unsolved reference it's not defined let's define that so mouse out here is going to be equal to a controller All right mouse equals controller the click thread it's going to be equal to a click mouse that object that we just made we just defined what a click mouse is delay and button so we pass in the delay and the button that we set up here and we pass that in down here to the click mouse so that's our click thread and then we do click thread dot start remember we told it when you do when you start it uh, yeah so it'll that'll start the thread actually running okay perfect so we're almost done at this point uh, I hope everybody's still following along okay I hope it's not too much um, this should be pretty simple. Just follow along. The next thing we're going to do is define a function called on press, and that's to get our keyboard input, right? So we're going to say on press of a key, if the key equals the start stop key, right? Then if key sorry click thread dot running. And then we'll add our else statement here just before we fill that in. So if the click thread is running, in other words, if the program is clicking and we hit S, we want it to click thread dot stop clicking, right? And otherwise, we want it to click thread dot start clicking. Cool? Perfect. So that's that. 
And the last thing we have to do is here we say elif, so otherwise, the key is equal to the exit key. Exit key, like that. If that's the case, then click thread dot exit and listener dot stop. Now, don't worry too much about listener. Um, listener is, oh, I wonder why it's good. Oh, sorry. Listener dot stop is just something to do with the threading library that we imported. Um, so then we say with listener, right? On press equals on press. Just like that. And then we say as, as listener, just like that. Perfect, that fixes our listener issue up here. Uh, then we just say listener dot join. Just like that, okay? And that's actually the entire program, right on. So uh, yeah, that's the code. Again, this is all gonna be on GitHub, link is in the description. Uh, let's see if it actually works. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to open up a website, um, it's from CodePen. It's just someone made a click counter in JavaScript. So I'm going to open that up now. And you can see that here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to see if this actually works. Uh, sorry, my bad. The last thing I have to do is I have to open up good old PyCharm and I have to run the program. So the program is now running. Okay. So now the program's running and because the program's running, okay, so if I click this, two, three, four, the fastest I can click is this fast. That's like the fastest that I can click the keyboard, right? So it's not too fast and it makes me tired very quickly. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit S to start clicking at 100 times a second. And there it goes. So you can see it's automatically clicking 100 times per second around uh, five, six, seven yeah so it's about a hundred times per second if I wanted to stop clicking I can just hit stop like that s s so if you hit the s key it starts and it stops and then I'll hit the e key so it exits the program so now the program should be exited and when I hit s again see nothing happens right I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. We just hit 7,000 subscribers, which has taken me a long time, but honestly, I'm, I'm so happy that we came this far, happy that we got so many people on the channel, and uh, hopefully a lot of you are learning to program uh, the same way I did on YouTube. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys.